Hello and welcome. My name is Rochelle and I'm a systems engineer here at JAMP. So in true Oprah fashion, let's talk about JAMP School and MDM for everybody. You get an MDM, you get an MDM. So let's start today by having a quick look at Apple device management in general, but you know, through an educational lens. In education, we know that there's often so many stakeholders that want to take control of projects, but generally IT are the key drivers behind what tool that they want to um, deploy. So schools, they choose iPads for their great versatility, but most management tools are designed primarily for the IT team. So this creates a bit of a disconnect between the intended classroom use and the experience that the teachers have with those devices. Teachers don't often have the freedom or the flexibility to help engage their students in their classroom. And the management solution also has a similar knock on effect to the student as well. And at the end of the day, I mean, that should be our primary focus. And if the devices go home, parents have little say on how those devices are used at home through you know, homework, etc. So it's time for an MDM that's designed to help teaching and learning and that empowers all stakeholders. So IT, teachers, students and parents. So drum roll please. Introducing Jump School. So this is our device management solution that's laser focused on education. It's built to be simple, to enhance the teacher and learning experiences while still being a valuable and powerful tool for IT to help them successfully manage devices. So keeping everybody happy. So at Jamf, we look at three different buckets when it comes to Apple device management in education. So first we have the devices. So with Jamf School, you can manage macOS, iOS, iPadOS, as well as tvOS. So all the OS is covered. And using the power of automated device enrollment, we can ensure that the devices are managed with Jamf School right out the box. So IT, I, I feel that you're going to be smiling after this one. So now that the devices are under management, what does that really mean? So from integration to Apple services like volume purchasing, apps and books, and Apple School Manager, to on-device management such as restrictions and configurations, through to identity services like Azure or managed Apple IDs you can have both visibility and control over those managed devices out there in the wild. And finally, we look to use the Jamf School system in a creative way. So this is providing tools to enhance teaching and learning by using Jamf Student, Teacher and Parent apps. So these applications are all included in your Jamf School subscription at no additional cost. So we'll start with the IT stakeholder, the IT team. So we know that they want to know all the nuts and bolts. So what's happening on the back end and how we can make their lives easier. Have no fear, we hear you and we have you covered. So Jamp School, it's a cloud-based MDM solution so that you can take control of your devices from the management console anywhere in the world. So, you know, make a petition to the principal <laughs> about sipping those Mai Tais on a beach. So using the dashboard and smart grouping, you can easily track down the device state, user assignments and app deployments. So if you're managing multiple campuses of, or schools under one body, Jab School has location support. So you can manage a location and its devices, push out profiles and applications, or create a policy at the top tier and share down to all locations. So with a simple, easy and clean console, it's easy to create smart groups and profiles in no time and get devices into the hands of teachers and students with very little lift from IT. So let's take a look at a quick example of how simple but powerful the console can be for IT admins. So here we can look at how we can assign apps to a group. So within Jamp School console, we find a group of devices. 
we then click on the apps tab and click add so within here you'll see a list of all the apps available to you that you've acquired via apple school manager now to deploy apps to all devices in a group simply click on the automatic button but that's not all from the same window you can also make apps available to the users on demand via the self services resource section on the student and the teacher app once you've hit add the installation of those apps on those devices in that group has begun so you can see how quickly you can assign apps to your devices and get them into the hands of the learners now for anybody who's familiar with jump you'll know that we have a jump and story so this is where we can integrate with third services in order to provide a new and enhanced experience for the end user. Now, Jamf School is no different. So we focus on integrating with services to help manage devices specifically in education. As an Apple first company, we integrate with Apple School Manager, as you would expect. And this integration includes all four pillars of Apple School Manager. So device enrollment, so your zero touch deployment, volume purchasing or apps and books, where you can acquire licenses for managed apps and deploy with Jamf School. Managed Apple IDs, so import and sync users and locations into Jamf School based on your managed IDs and your Apple School Manager setup. And last but no ways least, Apple School Manager. So if schools have taken the time to import class data into your Apple School Manager. This can also be pulled into Jamf School and classes can be created automatically, ready for use with Apple Classroom. But it's not just Apple School Manager where we pull, where we can pull identity from. So Jamf School can integrate with on-premise LDAP services, as well as those popular identity providers such as Azure and Google. And with the integrations with LDAP or identity providers and Apple School Manager, plus the power of device management, configurations and app deployment, you'll be deploying iPads with a zero touch workflow in no time. For teachers, Jamf School has a classroom tool called, shockingly, Jamf Teacher. So this tool can be used independently to keep students focused but it's best used to be alongside the Apple Classroom app in order to maximize learning in the classroom. Jump Teacher is a native iOS and Mac OS application, but we also have a web app as well, which means teachers that don't have Apple devices can also help harness that power of Jump Teacher. Teachers often need to focus their students on a number of applications and websites during a lesson. And with Jump Teacher, they can choose which apps, websites, and a whole host of other configurations their students require whilst in their lesson. And after the lesson, the iPad will then return to its default state. And the best thing is teachers can prepare their choice of applications, configurations, and websites in advance. So when the lesson time comes around, the students are up and running with a few taps on the teacher's iPad. So it's not encroaching in any of that valuable learning time once the class starts. So here we have two iPads. So the one on the left is the teacher's iPad and the one on the right is the student's iPad. So Jamf Teacher isn't a replacement for Apple Classroom, but instead it's an extension to it. So let's see how we can lock the student iPad into only the applications a student needs to complete their learning objectives of the lesson. So first on the teacher's application, we open, on, we open te the teacher app and we can see that if, you know, if you've used the Apple Classroom app before, it's a very similar layout. So we'll tap on app lock, then we get to choose the apps that are required for that lesson. Now you can see that you're also allowed, you're able to lock in to a certain amount of time. So if it's a timed task or for the lesson as a whole. Now, once that lock is enabled, the student iPad only displays the selected applications. So the teacher knows that, that student's on task. 
And once the tasks are complete or the lesson is over, you can then re release the app lock and the iPad will then return to its original state. So all of this can be done without the need of an IT ticket or any interaction with IT whatsoever. So a lot of smiles, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm like, yes, we've been heard. And even better than this, teacher, the teacher app also has something that we call lessons. We know that you guys, you teachers out there, you love to plan. Um, so we have given you the tools um, at your fingertips to you know, create this ad hoc workflow, but also to plan ahead of time. So within lessons, it's a, something like a digital lesson plan where you can add the applications, the websites and the other configurations before the lesson even starts. Now, once you've created that lesson, you can also share that with other teachers in your school or department. So, you know, it's kind of creating a bit of a database for everybody, helping everybody out. So we've covered the IT team and the teachers. So let's jump to who we're really here for, the students. So with Jump Student, it's a tool to empower students and give them restricted permissions over their own devices. So using the main Jamf school console, IT can enable students to install pre-approved applications, books and documents as and when they need them, all without the need for an Apple ID or a password, which I mean, let's face it, they've probably already forgotten anyway. So as well as these tasks, they can also do things like update apps, iOS, and the most important thing, interact with their teacher. So the student app helps to empower that student by ensuring that they have access to the correct tools at the right time. And much like the teacher app, the student app has a My Resources section. So from here, they can install assigned applications as and when they're required, again, without the need for an Apple ID or a password. IT admins can also group applications together in categories or sets, and students can download individual apps or the entire collection together just by pressing one simple button. And finally, we'll look at the parent stakeholder. And if your school subscribes to a 24 seven model and devices go home, Jamf School can really give your school and the parents that additional peace of mind that they crave. So parents generally have concerns about how much time their child spends on their devices or whether they're actually focused on learning whilst at home. And with Jamf Parent, it really empowers the parent to manage, control apps and device functionality. Now parents can decide if their child should have access to certain apps whilst doing homework or lock down the iPad at say bedtime. And this could all be achieved via device rules where parents can set the configurations to activate at a particular time or on particular days. So really a set and forget scenario. The Jamf Parent app is available for iOS and Android, but it's also available via the web. So it's highly accessible across multiple platforms and the web, depending on your at home setup. Now, like the teacher and student app, the Jamf admin has ultimate control. So they can configure the parent access so the parents can only affect their devices when the school decides. So, you know, maybe between 4 p.m. and 8 a.m. So here we have the parent app and it's already been linked to their child's device. So if you have multiple children, you'll have multiple names. So to start, we simply tap on the child's name and then we tap on app lock where the parent can choose which apps are available to the student. So much like the teacher's app. Parents also have the ability to restrict device functionalities, things like stopping access to iMessage or FaceTime or the dreaded Angry Birds. So this is useful if your, if your iPads do go home and it allows the student to use the iPad with normal usage. But this app also gives the parents the ability to manage that device further once that iPad is at home. So 
The name of this presentation is MDM for Everyone, and I think we've covered all the key players. So we have Jamf School. So this console is to keep the IT team happy, so they can streamline workflows and get more time back in their day and not get involved with the constant tickets and requests. The Jamf Teacher app to enable prior lesson resource planning, as well as ad hoc in-classroom applications and configs being deployed. The Jamf Student app to give the student a bit of autonomy, but in a controlled environment. And finally, the Jamf Parent app, to engage the parent in their own child's learning with the confidence that they have some level of control on the device after school hours. So, as you can see, we have an MDM for everybody. Thank you all for your time today. I hope you've all learned something and um, enjoy the rest of your day.